Hello everyone, we are back with the bootcamp session, live session. Uh, today we are going to use open source API to create a card. Um, Sarja, you do you want to add anything? Just I just wanted to add anything, uh, uh, just a uh, direction that from the next uh, from next class, we are going to start off by looking at the one of the most important APIs, which is Shopify GraphQL APIs and headless Shopify uh, application development. Because uh, more than a million uh, uh, people, companies are using Shopify. Therefore, it is very important and it is a very comprehensive solution. So that is for uh, next week. Let's start. Yeah. We want something to do with, we want uh, a shopping cart, which is basically able to, uh, we are able to customize and we don't want to pay. That's the most important <laughs> part. We don't want to. For the payment gateway, there is no choice but to pay because mm. uh, it's very difficult to make a, a payment ga gateway. You have to uh, connect with all the banks and everything. But for uh, if what, what kind of developers would be, Daniel, if he would pay, be paying 2%? Uh, <laughs> to snip card. To snip card, yes. <laughs> uh, it's okay as a backup and understanding how what we learned from that is last week you know, what we learned from that is that how simple they have made the apis for the developer that was the main point mm -hmm. we are going to use the same techniques when we are going to uh, develop our own products same techniques to make it very simple for the uh, end developer to use uh, our apis so that was the main point uh, of making things simple and uh, we learned that from that Dishan, please uh, Start with the custom APIs. Sure, just on. <laughs> uh, let me share my screen first. <clears throat> can, can you hear me clearly? Yes, we can. Okay, so uh, our today's target is uh, to use a open source API or library called Use Shopping Cart. The library name of library is Use Shopping Cart. The uh, the card we have seen in last class was pre-built. The Snip Card has given us a complete package. It has an a uh, what you say a server a ui where you can see your orders where you can see your payments where you can see your customers everything that is, is done by the snip card you just have to call its api and it, uh, manage all the card everything related to the cart management what the products are inside uh, is done by snip card but that uh, snip card charge two percent for that and gives a very uh, comprehensive ui for that to us but what if we want to create our own card? But definitely to manage our own card, we need to state management. We need how product will display, how you know, we will be customizing display ourselves. So we need some uh, API to manage. So what Use Shopping Card did is it, it has given us a library or you can say an API, which is doing exactly shopping card management, but it has no a UI. It's just in a library to add item into the shopping cart, to remove, to upgrade, to increase, and the shopping it's cart management at the client side so that you can use it. And it is integrated with uh, Stripe. So we'll be integrating it with the Stripe. So uh, the payment will be uh, again uh, then on the Stripe. So for that, we have these two links uh, we, in this uh, project, which Sarge has mentioned. The first one is the complete documentation of use shopping card and other one is its example so we'll be focusing the uh, documentation for it so as you can see stripe checkout the features it has shopping card logic state management local local storage so if you refresh the page you do not have to worry about if uh, there was product in cart or not exactly like snip card but definitely snip card has a cost this library will uh, be good for us okay so uh, let's go to the getting start what we need to do is we need to install stripe js definitely for the payment and 
use shopping cart library these two libraries are required to install uh, so first of all let me show you i just created a project a starter project it has nothing just a gets me hello world starter project and everything is already there i'll just paste this for the installation so that stripe and use shopping cart, shopping cart start installation and we'll see what next now once you install this in your main page your main app or somewhere which is starting point of your application you need to use a tag called card provider that's a context api i must recommend because we have you we have been using in apollo and here and we'll be needing uh, to understand context api so uh, in initial classes we have covered context api in detail you guys must learn that it's very important and you need you will be using it too much or mostly the services or apis provide such things like the, in this case it is a card provider it's a context api then you need to provide stripe into it success url cancel url as we have done in stripe so when we were uh, working with this stripe we have to provide product cancel and success url all this information is provided over here and inside that it is using app tag so at this moment it uh, it is using based on react so we need a bit of change for for the case of uh, gatsby once you done with this then you need to have a product and a good thing is it has a hook use shopping cart hook like we used a hook in uh, in case of a stripe use a stripe and use element so exactly we have used shopping cart hook and this hook has all the detail this hook is your main component all the information available from this hook and you will be using this hook so to understand uh, this hook let me show you uh, it, it's in a documentation uh, available also over here so use shopping cart it has few functions and few properties add item so whenever you want to add item into the shopping cart you will call add item whenever you want to increase the quantity if you remember in step cart we were adding the product and then we'll uh, clicking the plus minus button to increase the quantity so definitely we do not have ui so all these things has to be done by ourselves increment decrement remove item from the cart set quantity total price what is the total price inside the cart let's say you added the four for products so total price of the, those products what that price will be formatted total price so it format with the currency usd or dollar card count how many items are in the card card details uh, that's uh, the all the items so whenever you add product into the cart that product is an entry inside card detail then redirect to checkout as this use shopping cart is tightly integrated with the stripe so it is using the redirect to checkout and once we call it it will open up the checkout form of stripe clear card definitely if you want to clear so these are the main important uh, functions which we will be using and that's our mainly our world to use uh, sh uh, shopping cart or create our own shopping cart okay so let's yes it's installed now let's move to the code so see index.js okay so in index.js we have so if we are uh, creating card provider inside this home component i'll show you first creating over here and then we see the uh, we'll understand the, what the problem is to use card provider here let's say if i create a card provider here i need to provide I'll ignore for a moment allow countries and please for success url we need to send to the success so let me And if it's cancelled, that means user is not paying. 
then we'll redirect it to the home page. Okay. Now inside this card provider, I'll just add this div just for the hello world. Now we need Stripe promise as we have seen in the Stripe our Stripe class. So we just need to create a Stripe. We have already installed a Stripe. So let me call. Load stripe. Now it need a key from the stripe. So the copy publishable key, paste over here, and then use this stripe. Comments. It's already the same variable. And we are good at this moment. Um, let me start this one. Okay, card provider is not imported because I just copy pasted it. Card provider. Okay. So here's our hello world, and uh, there is nothing. It's just a card provider, it's a context, it's a provider of a context. So whatever we need to do with the card provider, so we need to use this hook. Use shopping cart. And this hook has all our properties or functions that we need to access. But this hook can only be used inside anything which is inside this card provider. So we have to create, use a component here and then we'll show for, for this moment. I'll create a component card status and then I'll show you how we'll be using it. Then I'll move card provider at a, a global level so that every page should have a card provider. So for example, now we need to show Sarsi component card status. So I'm assuming uh, basically you need to understand that in this uh, application, we'll also need to implement the UI, create the UI because Snipcard was, uh, has provided us all the UI and everything. As we are using the U open source API, so it only has the functionality. Of the UI portion should be, uh, should be done by us. So we, uh, what I need to do is I need to show uh, how many items in the cart, how many what is the total price go to checkout clear card or anything whatever i want to do so i'll be creating this card status and i don't need this promise over here okay so that's that will be our div and inside that div Mm. Okay, so for now, const equals to use shopping cart. That's our hook, and inside the hook, we will have total price, cart count. Let's say we have these two. So If there is anything in our cart, so it will calculate the total price mm -hmm. and show us this total price. Okay. 
now I'll use this inside but better and I'll see uh, status. Okay, so we have card status now. Let's see in our, okay. As you can see, we have this component and we have total price and count. If there'll be an, uh, any item in the card, count will increase, so we'll see. But what I, I'm trying to explain is that if, let's say at this moment, I need to create another page and in that page, I also need to use this hook so that particular page should also be inside this card provider so it will not work that we need to create card provider in each page so as we have seen in apollo because we have seen in apollo so you guys can easily connect that we need to uh, create a root element a wrap root element which can wrap all the pages inside your context api so i will move this card provider over there so for that Let's say I'll create a folder card, card provider, and inside that I'll create element.js and uh, so we need. Code comes web root element. Okay, so let me remove this. I just and now from here we need to return our card provider so instead of using card provider here i'll copy this card provider from here and paste inside the wrap root element we don't need this And as we have seen, uh, our provider will be wrapper on all the pages. So whatever page component are, they will be available inside this element variable. So we need to show it over here. Everything will be inside it. So now all our pages are wrapped inside the card provider. So we can use uh, use shopping cart shopping cart hook anywhere in our application instead of creating shopping cart provider in all the places. So that's how we'll add it over here. And then we need to add, let's be browse, let's be dash browser file, because we need to export it. And we need to create let's be sr.js. And in both of these files, we need to export um, src so we have wrap root element. Same line should be inside SSR. So that's how we have this available. And now if I, instead of creating this card provider index page, I will make it 
I'll create a div and then they will wrap around our content. Okay. So we need to restart the server because of the changes in Gatsby browser and Gatsby SSR. So we need to restart this server. Okay, I just copied the content, but not the other portion. In Reproot element, we need a Stripe promise. We need a card provider. So we need to import them as well. So whatever we have done related to the card provider should be moved to the wrap root element. So we, I have moved the load stripe and the card provider. And then we don't need both of them inside our index page. Okay, so rebuilding is done. Okay, it's working. That means it's uh, uh, our the implementation we have done is working. Otherwise, we will be facing the error related to the use hook because this use hook will only be be called, or you can only call. Otherwise, you will see error if it's not wrapped around the card provider. So we have sh uh, have the card status. Now, what we need to do is we need to let's say display our products as is done by here so uh, now uh, as we are just creating a sample app so i'll be using the same product data content otherwise we might be calling data from the stripe or we might be calling data from our any of our server and then we use that product and iterate those products to display the a good ui so at this moment i'm just copying this product data inside home page what i need to do is i want to show these products at this moment they are doing multiple things so we just need to display products so below the card status data dip Product data dot map product okay so product Okay, we need to provide the round bracket instead of curly bracket. Okay, so you can see we have two products. Now we need to uh, display it properly so that we can use it. So at this moment, what I'm trying uh, going to do is I'll I'm creating a component for product and display product related information over there as we need add to card button as well over there. So product.js and uh, let's copy from here. So here we will be So what I'll do is I will, instead of calling this div like in this way, what I'll do is I'll call product component over here. And then I'll provide the product data inside that component as a property. So I'll create 
product or product data, whatever you want to call it. Product. And then uh, we are assuming that inside the product component, we are receiving product in parameters, prop properties. Okay, so now we can I can show name product name. So we have information name is cube price image currency. <coughs> price So here we just need to create image. So I see the image. And inside the index page, I'll import the product okay. so this is too much let's resize the Now we have uh, product one name banana and uh, other product and we have two images. So at this moment, as I am using the sample data, so the sample data has given the some sample image. So, uh, just for two. okay. So now in the product page, I also need a button. Add to. So we have a to cart button just to display a proper UI. I'll just add a bit of a style. Um, display product over here, and that's the div we have. And on product, what I'll do is I'll create some separator so that it will Radius um, five px. So it will show us like this. We need some margin and padding. As it's, you can see, it's quite uh, uh, attached to each other, and even it's also the content. So for that, I'll use margin twenty px or ten px, whatever visible okay. so now we can see uh, margin okay. now we uh, the good thing is uh, we can add more css and any everything this is product and we can display the uh, button over here or whatever we want to do however we want to manage it we can do it with this properties at this moment we have this information and now we need to implement add to cart functionality so whenever i click the cart the product should be added inside the cart and 
this total price and total count should be increased so we do not have to do anything we just uh let's use the use shopping cart and we have as we have seen already over here that we have apis add item to add product into the cart so i'll access this over here add item and on click of a button on click we call add item now what add item needs add item needs a object of a product which has which must have the maybe they have explained over here or in the next yes so whenever you need to add product inside the uh, cart it needs to have a name description sq price if uh, at this moment we are using stripe and stripe has changed its naming for the id so we can use price id over here so i'll show you in a moment these things required inside the product object as we have already used over here so that that's a standard or a recommended way to use this product so we have this product over here in this variable so we just need to send this product inside the add item okay uh, okay so that's price is 400 add to cart and now you can see total price in case i just did what i did i just call the add item so because of this api and library it's calculating by itself whatever inside the cart so it's displaying price and count over here so another item if i am i'll be adding same item again and again you can see now we can add as many item as inside the uh, our shopping cart so we are adding and there can be a multiple list of uh, products we have let's refresh it what's the error so you can see price and count all uh, still there so even if refresh the page even i restart the server it's maintaining because it's using the local storage what's the error key so whenever we are in react whenever we try to iterate or on an element and we are creating multiple element as a list so we must need as we have already learned this we must need to provide the key so i'll use product dot a unique item we have is the sq of this product so i'll be using this sq as a key sku so refresh the page and uh, uh we have uh, okay we we do not have error but the data is available inside the cart now what we need to do is we need to move to a checkout page or cart page because that's our product page we have a list of products and there can be 10 20 30 or 40 products inside our product list but as we have uh, seen many of the shopping cart applications uh, whatever e-commerce app you use you click on the cart button or icon and it shows you the whatever available inside the cart and then you can click the checkout uh, button so that you it will redirect you the, to the payment screen so now we need to move towards uh, checkout so for that we need to add a button over here so that we can redirect to checkout the data we, elements we have increment decrement remove these we will use inside the cart total price card count clear card we can also use clear card over there so let's go to the card status and here we can add a button to go to card page
that will be normal navigation we'll just i will call the navigate and i'll pass the card that we do not have at this moment i'll create this card page and i'll uh, let me add another button for now clear card on click so now we need to clear the card and we have this function available clear card so we just it's quite simple everything is available inside the use shopping cart and you can easily access them okay mm, let's see okay we have go to cart clear card so it's clear the uh, cart and at this moment we have nothing inside it Let, if i click it again it will do the same thing again okay so go to the cart clear cart go to the cart it will not work because we do not have this page so i'll create this page now we have an option either create a separate page for the cart or we can create a component which can slide in or any way you want to that's that's the control you have instead of using a snip card you can display a card what whatever way you want so let me create a separate page for it card.js and i'll pick some basic structure card and there will be no product uh, we will need um, this div so keep it this way and what we need to do is inside the card we need to display all the product which user have added inside the card at this moment you can see we have two product these are the products these are not the whatever element inside our card so we need to show whatever we have inside our card and for that we have an object called card detail so let's first see what it has card details and hello card hello card and just to display and console the data or details go to card um, index our status navigate to card. we do not have card page okay we have now okay so go to the card and you can see we have object this object is important that we need to understand how use shopping card maintains the list of product inside the card what this uh it's it's a key value here so key is an sq and the value is an object which is our product object the way we have created this over here that's object of a product and when we click on add item we have added that same object inside the cart so when we are trying to view the list of item inside the cart it's showing us usd formatted value image name price quantity how many items you have purchased for that uh, added for that particular item and the value so you need to understand that the data we have passed is only name sq price and currency the other few properties are then provided by the use shopping card library because we need to see that i have if a, for a particular product if i have added two or three uh, quantities 
so we have this information over here let me add second product as well then go to the card so we have on the card page and now we have two SKUs and it shows the that this particular product has been added as a twice and this is only once this product is only for once so now we need to display it but the problem is it's not a normal array so you cannot call a map on it uh, for that you need to iterate on this so, so there are two ways either you can call the for loop and add pick those item and add, create an array or you can call there is another option what you can do is you can call object dot keys and you provide card details inside it so it returns array of keys so it will have sq this and this these two sqs will be inside this array and then you can call map on it so for that i'll name it item and then uh, instead of curly bracket we need round bracket because we need to create a react of this return and this react object okay now we need active again it's an, uh, as we did for the product we can create a separate component for it as well uh, at this moment i am just uh, keeping with uh, this item dot sq and uh, okay so as it will be similar to the product so i'll copy name price image see if it's working product is not defined okay so it's item so i need to replace it item dot name mm. sq as an object okay so we have um sq <laughs> this div also does not have a key uh, let me see object dot keys Okay, so we have keys. Oh, yes. Uh, basically, we have received key. So it's just a key. Item does not have a product object completely. So what we need to do is we need to access the object. So for that, I need to call cons. I need card details. Card comes to what will not work here. Okay, so for now, what I'm trying to do is card detail dot item. okay so we have this uh, basically uh, it's, this is the key and we need to access object inside a key value pair so we need to pass a key so we can access the object so uh, we can do this way or we must have a way to use this one i guess 
okay we'll see later but that's that's the main point is card detail and provide the square bracket and item so that you can access the element so we have this bananas price we also need to show the price uh, total value quantity so let's say i need to show we have quantity and value as well so we need to show quantity the quantity um, will be card detail item or quantity and total price value okay. so now you can see bananas 400 price and name everything is same over here and we just uh, need this style here as well basically we don't need it over there we actually need it here <coughs> okay so we are inside the card what what i want is because we are inside a card let me also add a heading so it it looks like that we are inside a card just to <laughs> show okay so now what i need is i need a button so that i can increase the quantity or decrease the quantity so here we have button plus minus and here i just need to call from the use shopping card increment item decrement item we have these available here you can easily review this these are all the properties we have so increment item decrement item increment item requires sku stock keeping unit it's called stock keeping unit so it's a unique identification for any particular product so we need to pass this here and we need the same thing for decrement just to change the name of decrement item okay now you can see we have this product it has two quantity inside our card the total price is 800 it's increasing five six so the price is 400 so that's why whenever i increase it's increasing the quantity and you can see so if i it's empty so what we can do is inside the cart we can um if object dot keys dot length if there is no item then show that card is empty return
part is empty. Now you can uh, style it to so it can be displayed at the center of the page. And so that's uh, what we have inside the card. And what we can do is uh, add the product, add this product as well, go to the card page. We are on the card page. We can increase the product. Now, this component, card component, I have created it as, separate, as a separate card status. So the good thing is what I can do is I can use that component on card page as well. So let's say here, I just need to call card status. And we have status on card page as well. Just to make them into the same line, so card status should look style. Display X X direction draw. So X direction draw. If I content center. Okay, so we have this inside it. We need to have some spaces. Okay, for that, I need to add a style on every component or you can create a CSS file. Let's say, and create a class, which is, Yeah, but they were in a button. Okay, so it does margin or anything. Margin ten PX and uh, I will apply it to my status. I need to apply this on. Yeah. Uh, import CSS. Art status dot CSS. Okay, so we have a space now, and we can use this CSS on all four components. So that's how our card will display, and on home page as well. Let me remove this over. Okay, so that's the one part as we have built complete UI to manage the card by ourselves. So we have a full control. There is a product. If I click on add to card, it's being added into, into the card. I can click on go to the card as we have seen in Snip card. In case of a Snip card, a Snip card was showing its own page. So you can uh, change the CSS of that card page. But that card page is being provided by the snip card. Sorry. And at this moment, we have everything uh, ourselves. We have implemented all the UI only to maintain the status. What are the product inside the card? What is not? And then when we go to the checkout page, so what it should be. So all these things are done by the use shopping cart. Otherwise, complete UI is in your control. Whatever way you want to manage it, you can use it so uh, once we have this now what we need to do is we need to uh, 
check out so once we are so at this moment we have used uh, mostly we have used add item decrement increment you can uh, let's say generally on the page product we have a delete button so when you click you, this this product remove from the cart you have this total price we have seen formatted prices show in dollar cart count redirect to checkout so now once i'll click the checkout button it will redirect to checkout okay so now inside now we have two options either we can add this button inside the cart status or at this moment just to keep it separate i'm creating this button here otherwise it's it's good to be have inside the cart status so button check out okay so now here what we need to do is we need to call a function and we just need to call the direct to checkout um the direct to checkout and uh, in case of our when we were implementing stripe directly in direct to reach checkout we have to provide the product success url cancel url these things are already been added inside our component previously the stripe success url these things are already there so we do not have to go for this but we'll face other problem i'll show you once we'll click on the checkout okay so we have this checkout button and if i click this checkout button undefined was chosen valid mode or client only okay so now what we need to understand as we have learned in stripe that we have a two mode to implement a stripe payment either client only or we do with server so for client only means that uh, client re send requ payment request directly to the stripe and there is no server involved or we can call to the server and server return a session id so for that what you need to do is you need to provide the mode over here it's mode i guess yes client only client only means your client browse from browser it will directly go to the stripe server and there will no our server involved or no function we do not need to have implement any function okay now we have the checkout we click on the checkout and we have another problem the problem is no such sku so when we click this checkout stripe is trying to validate the product inside the stripe because uh, we are uh, checking out completely from the stripe and there is no involvement in ours of our server so the product id which we are passing the product uh, this product id does not exist on our stripe server we have these products in our stripe server water bottle form and if you go to the water bottle it has this price id so there is no such thing as sku gb and something so what we need to do is we need to copy this and paste it over here go to the second product paste over here okay so th that's the uh, key it requires key should be sku and the product will submit to the server and the stripe checkout will consider only this property all these information will be ignored let me show you okay so we have this page and we have these two product inside our uh, cart so once i click the checkout 
there is an another error. It's being removed, so why it's still there? Okay, so the product is already inside the card, so uh, key is already been there. So I need to clear the card. I need to add the product again. Add to card. Add to card, go to card. So increase this. So now you can see we have this as this. click on the checkout. Okay, now we are on Stripe checkout page. So it's directly smoothly integrated the Stripe checkout with our UI. And the problem you will see is water bottle and formal shoe. We have something called banana and this. These two properties, image is different. Why? Because I have used that uh, because we are creating a sample application. So I just use the sample data for the product. And I keep the ID which should be on Stripe. So it's trying to validate on the Stripe and all the information will come from the Stripe and you will actually buying this Stripe products, not this. So that's uh, that's mistake on the developers and that we have provided the incorrect data to the user. So either correct your data. So let's say go to this. Uh, we have learned in the Stripe case, uh, the use the Stripe plugin, which fetch the data from the Stripe server and display the products. So I'm not going to do at this moment. I think we have a loss of connection uh, from Zishan. But the point is that uh, we uh, had almost completed uh, the tutorial and uh, more or less uh, the rest of the work and uh, the code is going to be pushed to the repository and the rest of the code you are going to do it yourself uh, thank you so very much uh, from next week we are going to start uh, looking at uh, shopify and uh, look into it and uh, basically uh, uh, that is a very important uh, part of the course and we are going to use how to use headless Shopify. Shopify is a, quite a complex uh, and a comprehensive product. And we will uh, uh, learn how to use it with Gatsby and other tools. Thank you so much.